Hey, this is TerraToots with a quick tutorial on using image maps in TerraGen 4. Image maps allow you to import external images into your scene and have three main uses, color, displacement, and masking. Today, we'll be combining all three of these techniques to lay the groundwork for this rose garden maze scene. We'll start out in one of the TerraGen preset scenes, where I've added this gazebo at the center of the scene. It's looking a little lonely, so let's start building a garden around it. The first step is to bring in an image map shader. We can do this by going to shaders, add layer, color shader, image map. It's worth noting that you can also find the image map listed under displacement shaders, but they are both the same thing. Now we'll be prompted to select an image, and I'm going to select this paving stone texture. The first thing we'll want to do is to change the layer name to Brick Color. We'll have several image maps by the time we're done, and we need to keep track of which one is which. Next, we'll change the shader to Position Center, which will put the center of the shader at the origin. And we'll bring the size down to 4 meters by 4 meters. We'll leave the default Plan Y projection, which will project the image straight down onto the ground. The next step is to bring in the displacement map for our brick texture. One option is to combine both color and displacement together into a new surface layer, but for now we'll just bring them in separately. Let's add another image map, and this time we'll grab the displacement image. When this comes into Terrigen, we'll name it Brick Displace and resize it to match the color image. If we zoom in here, you'll notice that by default, Terrigen is reading this as a color layer. To get displacement from this image map, we'll need to come up to the Color tab, uncheck Apply Color, then go to the Displacement tab and click Apply Displacement. The default displacement amplitude of 1 meter is way too much, so let's bring it down to 0 0.1. Nice. Now we've got a little patch of bricks, but how do we extend and shape it? To do this, we'll use yet another image map as a mask for our color and displacement shaders. First, select our color shader in the left pane. Click Mask by Shader. Click the green plus. Create new shader. Color shader. Image map. We'll be loading this image, Hedge Maze Brick. When we mask our color shader with this image, white areas will be visible and black areas will be masked. You can also use grayscale images for partial masking. Let's go to our image map and name this one Brick Mask. Change it to be centered and we'll resize it to 75 by 75 meters. Now our mask is in place, but there's no change in our color layer. This is because our color image is still set to just 4x4 four four meters. What we can do is go to the Flip Repeat tab and check the Repeat X, Repeat Y boxes. This will tile the texture in all directions. Now we can see the brick color flow out and fill the mask, forming a maze shape. If we want the maze to continue infinitely, we can also tile the image mask. We also need to tile our displacement shader and connect it to the same image mask. Do this by going to our Brick Displace layer, checking the Mask by Shader button, then Assign Shader, then pick the same Brick Mask shader. Another use for image maps is masking object populations. For example, in our Objects tab, I have a population of rose bushes set up here but I only want the roses to appear between the bricks. What I can do is click Use Density Shader and assign our same brick mask shader. Now we want to invert the density shader so the bushes appear in the opposite locations from the bricks. 
Now, when the roses are populated, we can see them appear between the paths. Now if we pull in and turn on the ray traced preview, you can see that with just a few image maps we've added color, displacement, and masking, and made a good start on an interesting scene.